Hi there, uh, we're here down in Lenham, Kent today, uh, myself and uh, piano player Mr. Roger Lewin here, and we're talking scales. Uh, in this particular video, we're going to talk about the major pentatonic scale. Uh, pentatonic scale being a five note scale, uh, one of the uh, most sort of simplistic of the scales, uh, but one of the most widely used literally around the world. Every form of music has used uh, five note pentatonic scales. Uh, so this one being the major pentatonic scale, if we take it uh, from the major uh, eight note scale, we're using the first note, the second note, the third note, the fifth note, and the sixth note. Uh, this is going to give us a DNA or, a, or an interval set, which is going to give us tone, tone, minor third, tone, and minor third. Uh, if you're talking about in whole steps and half steps, that will be whole step, whole step, minor third gap, and then a whole step again to a minor third gap. And it's going to give you uh, a scale which is going to sound like this with its chord. <laughs> It's a very floaty scale, this one. Very, very beautiful melodic type of scale. Um, always sort of reminded me very much of uh, the ocean, you know, sailing ships out on the on the ocean. A lot of scales have certain connotations, and 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 that's a good way for you, perhaps, sometimes to remember them. Uh, that they would set certain things off in your in your mind. So this scale can be used um, when you're looking at a major chord and also over the most used chord in the world, which is the dominant seventh chord. Uh, you can use a major pentatonic scale. Uh, it's, it's especially prevalent when you're using things like the blues, uh, jazz, blues, country, rock, any kind of world music will use this pentatonic scale. Uh, there are plenty of pattern books out there available which can um, allow you to get to know this a little bit better uh, but it's a nice easy scale to learn and one to get under your fingers straight away uh, and it allows you to get improvising using not too many notes. One other thing to bear in mind with the major pentatonic scale, if you start it from its last note which will be the sixth note um, and actually go from that note to its octave it will give you the corresponding minor pentatonic scale. So it's quite a good sort of multi-purpose scale here because not only are you learning it in a major form, but you're also then getting it in a minor form as well. Um, if you take it from its end note, its, its sixth note, and go sixth note to sixth note, that will give you the minor pentatonic scale which, which attaches itself to the same key signature. Okay, so we're going to give you uh, a little demo of a tune here just to show you how much this scale could be used in a different style of music. So, a really nice, again, happy scale that you can use here. Loads and loads and loads of uses for this particular scale. Uh, get to know it. Uh, if you're trying to work out the key that we're playing in, by the way, we're in concert C. So for you tenor players, we're going to be using the scale of D major pentatonic in this video.